Welcome to the Pajit demonstration of cyclo converter based AC induction motor speed controlling by using blink cap from the ESP8266 module. So here we are going to control the speed of this AC induction motor single phase with the help of our thyristor based uh, cyclo converter. So in this one we are going to provide the inputs to the system to set the speed of this motor in 4 levels, 5 levels 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that inputs is getting from this blink app. So using this slider, so 0, 1, so 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these inputs will be get, uh, given from the blink application and that was read by the ESP8266 module and this input given to our PIC 16F73 microcontroller based on the input from this one. So we are going to set the frequency to the motor with the help of our cyclo converter thyristors. So as we have explained the same operation in our previous video which is same project but in this we have changes the uh, we are going to control the motor from anywhere in the world. Previously that project is controlling within the region and now we are using blink application so that we can control the speed of this we can set the speed of this motor from anywhere in the world directly and here also same positive off cycle thyristors negative off cycle thyristors based on the input signal we are going to control in the frequency so based on the frequency we are going to set the speed directly so we have interfaced this eight thyristors h my apic microcontroller a0 a1 a2 a3 and next bc uh, B2, B3, B4, B5. So 8 pins are connected to the 8 thyristors and this each thyristor board consists of a opto isolated diac as well as the thyristor 1. So and here this board is the zero crossing detector. In order to detect the uh, when the system is uh, uh, that uh, when the AC voltage is started the positive off cycle. So in order to get that we are providing the uh, zero crossing detector and it has the DB107 bridge rectifier which will act as a full wave bridge rectifier and the transi resistors to divide the potential voltage and next transistor to get the uh, trigger input to the or microcontroller. So the transformer is used to detect the zero crossing uh, value and next uh, this is adapter will provide the 5 volts power supply to the microcontroller and 2 volts power supply to the motor through the R cyclo converter. So before switching on the kit, install the Blink legacy application from the Play Store and next go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot name along with the data. So you can on the data, data name, so hotspots, right and change the hotspot name to project 5112 and the password 129. So after that, enable the data and log into the Blink application. There we can see red icon is show the status of the kit is offline. So now on the power supply to the kit. So kit got switched on. After the red icon gone, give the power supply to the motor. Before that, you can restart this uh, RPIC microcontroller. So I am repeating that, the steps are first switch on the motherboard then check the red icon will go on. So there you can get the notification as the device is online connected to the blink application. Then again after around 5 to 6 seconds on the mother reset, reset the motherboard. So now the system is now ready to take the input from the blink application. So when we change the status to 1. so. The icon change the LED status will change as you can see that and the motor got started and read with the step one speed and two you can see the changes and three and four three four at high speed directly you can observe the sound motor off Right. Right. 